Hello everyone. We are going to resume my story of my permadeath Randy Random Rimworld save. So, we last left off at sort of a bottleneck in our technology. Our two ladies are the first ones awake and having their meals at a table. So that's one of the big technological achievements. Um, I'm also hoping that we can maintain the cleaning part of the process. Once they run out of that, I can see us having some struggles for something to do. Why don't I try to find some more floors to remove? I'm hoping that should give a Vagabar and Lambert can now do his scientist duty because I'm sending Grancia up to well, I think the other people may focus on deconstruction Let's follow Banastra since he will do that. Actually, I think I will put Grancia on this too, since she's obviously bored and looking for something to do. So, sadly, it doesn't look like we are achieving resources out of these things. I think it's because I've waited too long from entering the map. But it's not all bad news because we can still learn our construction skill. It's just sad that we cannot um, get anything out of this. So, basically we are leveling up our construction skill without getting any resources back in return. And, um, it would be cool if we can bring Lagua back, at least to do some light cleaning and whatnot, and then he can do some research and, and help Lamba conquer the complex clothing part of our research tree. The next thing I want to research is stone cutting. Hmm, you know something? I just realized that perhaps maybe... I could build a tool cabinet to increase my efficiency on a workstation. A butcher table is one, but I would also need the um, tool cabinet for a stone cutter's table, as well as a tailoring bench once we get to that point.
Hmm. I'm gonna check out Baokamto. We have some deer on the map. So I think we will have him go after those fellas. What say you buddy? This way Banastra can help with the research and Lagua is in search of something to do. And I'm reckoning it's because we are out of floors to try to harvest. I'm gonna try this one more time. We'll be like, hey guys, there's some stuff up here. You 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 want you want to you want to do you want to do something about that? And then Grand Seer is like, yeah, I'll go with that. So we will follow Grand Seer up to the ruins, and will this get me some bricks for my babies to carry back and build with? We shall see. No. There's a little bit of steel, like one piece of steel. But I think this has been on the map and weathered away for far too long. So we are quite very extremely lucky to even get this little bit of steel salvage from these ruins. Balkamto is hunting these animals. So I'm gonna head back to my other babies. And I'm wondering... Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did put Lagua on hauling and cleaning so he could carry stuff back to the storeroom. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah, these sirens can be kind of annoying. I'm also thinking about installing Grand Theft Auto V and having a little fun with that. Alright. So I see Dolores went in and out of the animal flap that we have built the previous episode or so. So she's doing okay. This squirrel, however, needs to not eat Dolores' food or our potatoes. So that's going to be the subject of our next hunting. I'm checking on my scientist. And then I need to ensure that my babies have cleared out the steel floor. And we can see that they are going to consolidate everything into the steel storage area. Wow. Well, the good news is, Balcomto is doing his very best to supply food to the colony. He's going to head back out to continue hunting. Banastra is on his way to get the kitchen sorted. And since we got two dudes working on the research, I think we may be able to predict that in the next episode, if I can get Lagua and Lambra dedicated to the idea, we can finish researching complex clothing and then 
move on to studying stone cutting. And I can have one lazy person designated as the tailor or the clothes maker. Bao Kamto is doing great harvesting the leather that we need. But let's not make any mistake here. All of this will be used up quickly when we have to clothe six people. Especially in preparation for the winter weather. Parkas and pants and everything else take up a lot of leather. So we are going to have a lot of small moving parts and no idling, lots of cleaning and lots of work being divvied up. Indeed, I thought somebody was going to get this leather and carry it back into the storage area. But I think Baokamto is going to bed. Yes. Well, here's the good news. Our potatoes are... I'm not going to say they're just about grown. But when these mature enough we can take a small break from the hunting or better yet we can continue hunting and supplement the meat with vegetables for fine meals and I will explain the difference see the thing is you can have the option of making uh, simple, fine, or lavish meals. And then you have vegetarian and carnivore options for both. And then you can also make baby food for the babies if you decide to have a baby. But, um... It also uses a lot more resources too, so... If we use 40 meat to make four simple meals, then I think we use um, a lot more to make five meals. We will confirm the numbers here in just a moment. Let me see. I have five meals suspended. It requires one nutrition, two, one vegetarian. Um, beyond that, it really doesn't say. But the minimum skill for cooking a fine meal is level six. So I don't need to FW the allowed cooking skill slider here. Because the lowest person that can do this are going to be level six um but now that vegetables will soon be an option it may be worth taking into consideration allowing fine meals to be placed on the menu so that when the potatoes become harvested, my chef will automatically be like, Hey, time to get that good eating. But as you can see, we're kind of struggling to keep up with the simple meals as it is now. Because of the slow supply chain of hunting, Processing, cooking, and storage.
But uh, today's episode, we removed some more floors. We are almost just about a hair away done from our research in our complex clothing. Next up, hopefully next episode, we will start bringing in these chunks and making bricks out of them so that we can extend our fortress. Alright. Well, thank you everyone on YouTube for making this possible. I think I am going to upload this and get ready to go to bed early. My goal is that the end of the month I have a number of episodes exceeding the number of days in a month, like maybe 40, 45, maybe 50 episodes of both games that I'm playing. So that way I can kind of take an occasional day off, like a break. Alright, Bao Kamto is awake. And that means the end of this episode. I love you guys. I will see you again next time. Hopefully things will get interesting. And we will have to live with the consequences of our permadeath games. Until then, I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.